you ever been afraid of falling out of an infinity board? Well, I'm gonna do it on purpose. Don't worry, I have my harness on. We'll set up a 50 foot rope swing and it's not gonna be an easy job. We're gonna be jumping from way above into a narrow passageway. We'll bump into many obstacles along the way and I mean that literally. Fuck. So we've been invited to this beautiful hotel with amazing sky pool and they asked us to do something crazy. So of course, we went for a visit. Our first idea was to jump into the pool, but that was not allowed. No! Luckily, Gap came up with an idea. Let's not jump into the pool, let's jump out of here. So we're gonna set a rope swing under the sky pool and we're gonna build slip and slide over the edge of the pool. We have to make everything work by the end of the day because tomorrow morning is already a first jump. There are plenty of obstacles in our way. We've got complex pillars, slides, bridge and also the floor. We need to really think about where we want to have a rope swing. After quick unpacking and making a plan with our one-of-a-kind crane operator Josef, who agreed to keep us safe, it was time to get to rigging. We're putting in the... we call it a turtle. The main point of the turtle is to protect the straps from sharp angles. We started using them because of this small incident. I don't know what it is, but it smells like rotten eggs, man. I don't know. While Gap and I sorted out the rigging, Mirji and Yanni took care of the stunt part. At least, that's what they told us. In reality, they decided to explore what this all-inclusive luxury hotel has to offer. They'd soon become test bunnies, so I guess they did kind of deserve it. We gather some weight, make a test dummy, and let, let it, it fall. swing. Hope this punching bag doesn't get any punches. The rope that we're swinging with is a bit too short and it doesn't even come up to the beginning of the platform, so we need to extend it now, but it's scary close to the ground. After an easy fix, mm. it was time for... First dummy test. Okay. No hit. No hit. Okay. I think I, I could be next. Think, or... Yes, you could be next. So Mirji was next. After a quick hug <laughs> and a bit of a show off. I smell sissies. You smell yourself. Maybe? Man. <laughs> we ensured Joseph it was safe. Uh, it's okay for now. And we were good to go. Dropping in three, two, one, go. It was looking all right, so we did a couple more tests, each higher than before, until... Things went sideways. Three, two, one, go! I mean, I went sideways, oh. I touched the elevator, it wasn't a gentle touch. Oh. Roasting right now is too dangerous. If we can't find a solution in the next three hours, we can pull this off. And we have like, I think the driver's here for only like two hours. What we're gonna do is shorten the whole swing so that the elevator shaft is not in the way anymore. Uh, the swing is gonna be much higher, so it's not gonna go so close to the ground, but it's gonna still go fast. Uh, what I'm happy about is that we are going to make it today. We had to go on with our work quickly, move the anchor points as soon as possible, and do more testing. Yeah, I'm gonna jump in to help with tries to see where we at. We switched the setup, and so we're going back from beginning. Let's make it count. Back. Option two was kind of... It was fail. It's not good. We're gonna move the anchors, uh, make the rope longer, and this is pretty much our only option, because after that we're losing the crane. I'm really tired, and we're far from over. Yanni did another try, which looked good enough, but Joseph's shift was coming to an end. Okay, we convinced our operator to give us another try. First time on the level of the pool. I mean, that's doable and I survived that and we are kind of ready for the pool. If the swing doesn't work now, we're losing the crane and with it, any chances of completing this project. Three, two, To be more confident, I would need quite some tries more but I'm satisfied with what we got and tomorrow is gonna be scary. Just as we were about to wrap up we realized that we need to get the slip and slide up to the pool. Guess who saved us again? Our crane operator just extended his shift for another hour 
because uh, we have to get this up. Thank you, crane operator. We're lucky to have you. After getting our slip and slide to the pool, everybody wanted to thank Joseph and wave him goodbye. Now we're on our own. Mama left the babies. <laughs> now the babies has to fly. <laughs> now there's only one option. Go from the top. Go from the top, no middle ground. <laughs> Next morning. Today we're continuing with the assembly of the slide. I'm super proud of this slip and slide. We have a whole bunch of shit to do. We're working on it. Today we add a slip and slide. <laughs> yeah. Sketchy. The swing doesn't look so promising. The trajectory, the, the jolt is gonna probably be, be, be big. So expect that. It's time to do first real try. Jan is going to jump. <sighs> Slightly nervous. Now it's my turn. First jump from the top is gonna show us if the swing actually works. So Yanni just hit the elevator. Fortunately, he's okay, but we, we need to shorten the ropes. Uh, we have a shorter rope to figure out how I'm gonna attach myself. I don't, I don't wanna get on while I'm not attached. Despite the risk, it was time for Yanni to give it a go. We shortened the ropes and Yanni almost hit the pillar. This project is really killing me. Like the last three projects that we did, it, everything went smoothly. But this one, well, this we is not exactly right. Let's remember our last three projects. We were about to jump until the wind picked up. Almost half a day of work. So we did two jumps so far. On the first one, I fully hit the elevator. And on the second one, I flew into the pillar. This project is full of surprises. Sometimes they're too tough. Hopefully the next jump is going to be perfect. We extended the rope so it would be in between both options and gave it one last go. Three, two, and a. Last jump of the day. It was a great success. No hits. <laughs> Didn't hit anything. <laughs> Which is fun. Yeah! We made it boys. We survived. We didn't hit anything. <laughs> Not everything went according to plan, but we had one more trick up our sleeve. Since the slip and slide rope swing didn't work, we brought it back up. We had the extra space in van. Airbag is always a good idea. Yeah. Like spare condom. You never know when you need to use it. Next is Mio Gignani trying slip and slide on the airbag for the first time. Go crazy, Thank you Mandan Hotel for letting us do that. We had a blast and we really appreciate it. And you want to see more fun stuff like this? Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the subscribe. 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 Yeah, I know. Yeah, I